Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I am in the little village of Logapu, somewhere in Ulubaram, in the hills of the Barablo River in Bordeaux. The village is so remote and so off the beaten track that several of the villagers have assured me I'm the first white person who has ever set foot here. Well, they might not have a lot of white people, but what they have is a lot of durian. <laughs> and this durian pile, we collected this yesterday, and it's already half gone in one night. Well, what do you do when you have so much durian? I mean, yeah, we are eating a lot of durian, but uh, we are at our limits. Well, you try to preserve the durian. And if you look at this here, this is a very special and traditional way to preserve durian. A very easy way, you can do it in the jungle, if you find a lot of durian during a jungle trip. You can do this without any additional ingredients, and you can also carry it around on a jungle trip for weeks. So what do you do? You basically take the flesh of the durian, like take the seeds with the arrows out of the husk, remove the seeds, make a portion of the durian arrow, put it inside the leaf of some sigibereshi, and slowly dry slash roast it over a fire. Yeah, so the perfect way of preserving durian, you don't need to carry sugar, you don't need to carry salt, you don't need to carry any wrappings. If you find a lot of durian in the jungle, you just take out the edible arrows, wrap them in ginger leaves, put them quite high up above a wood fire and barbecue them. Well, here we have a lot of different durians like Durio Dulcis, Durio Civetinos, Durio Graviolens, and some crazy durian hybrids. The paste Aunt Winnie made yesterday for us is from Durio Civetinos and an orange Durio Graviolens. Let's see if we have a, an open Durio Graviolens somewhere. Oof. Yeah, let's take this one, it's more colorful. So those are the two durians. She made the paste separately. First she made the graviolens paste. Oh, there is an ant nest in this fruit. Then she made the civetino paste. They told me that what they often do is mix all different species, like they mix graviolens, civetinos, and dulcis. Here, the red durio dulcis. They also mixed it with uh, several very different tasting durian hybrids and they make a mix paste of all the different durians they have. In this case she didn't do this. The whitish paste is Durio, Gravio, is, uh, Durio Sibetinus and this orange looking paste is orange Durio Graveolens. So let's try them. I haven't tried them yet. As you can see they are being made, well, at low heat, so the, yeah, the, the leaf and even the durian is a little bit charred, but not really, not really burned too much. Okay, now let's try the Sibetinos taste for, um, Sibetinos paste first. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Well, it tastes definitely of Sibetinos. Hmm. It could be a boiled and mashed up tapioca or cassava or manioc with a strong Sibetinos flavor. You can definitely see that it's made from Sibetinos. There is also something cheesy to this dish. Mm. Yeah, definitely something cheesy, definitely something tapioca-like, but you can definitely taste the Durio Sibetinos here. Now let's try the 
Durio. Graveolen spaced. Puh. I don't want to try the fly. Hmm. Very different. Taste def definitely of graveolens. Even the consistency is different. Less sticky. Mm. Well, the consistency and looks of this are more like tapioca paste. The consistency and looks of this is like mashed pumpkin or sweet potato. Also, the taste is quite close to mashed pumpkin or sweet potato, but with the definite flavor of the orange Durio Graviolens. Amazing. I haven't seen this anywhere else before. I don't know if this is a local specialty. I mean, it should be more widespread. It's the perfect way to transport and preserve durian in the jungle. Maybe they just don't sell it anywhere. They just eat it for themselves. Good taste. Definitely worth the trouble for preserving the durian because durian fruit, well, the Half ripe ones may last two or three days, but the perfectly ripe durian will not be perfect on the next day. Well, this they told me that this recipe lasts up to a week. Okay, folks, so this was the traditional durian paste. The ingredient, simply durian, nothing else. Barbecued inside Singibereshi leaf over an open fire. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos. From the beautiful island of Bordeaux and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe